True peace everybody, this is the introduction to Kwipu and new science. NEY60 and MY96-7822, Repo the Sun, 16 degrees Cancer, 34 minutes and 22 seconds. Second Deacon. Listen to Repo sound right cosmic reason. In this video slash audio, I, Repo the Sun, will now come forth and glory in this day and time to explain with honor my solar daughter Kwipu and give her nine mind graduation in the same way Tar Bu'unu Anet, the first black step to rise out of nine ether waters of noon, and Tar Kinu Unu, the first black kin to the universe, were given their qualifications by us, the nine Ennead orbs of original creation. Let this be remembered well. Ethiopian forces, nine ether, first visit the minds of their posterity because they know that nothing can be done right unless the mind is right, and the mind cannot be right unless it, is, it has accepted right knowledge. BIAE Book 2, Number 105 in part. To elaborate a bit further on the first step to power mentioned in the foregoing paragraph, a woolly haired person must pass the capability test. The capability test determines whether the mind of a negro is capable of growing in and with the new cycle, the revolutionary cycle. A woolly haired person has passed the capability test when he or she is able to actually deny and reject the Caucasian's religion, spirit forces, and names of their spirit forces such as God, Jesus, Lord, Christ, Ghost, etc. There is no true growth in universal knowledge for the mind of a woolly haired person unless he is able to pass that test. Growth of the mind by right knowledge is power growth. Mind power is the greatest power in the universe and we Ethiopians as a race are greatly in need of it in order to think and do for ourselves independent of other races. BIAE Book 2 Number 100 Listen to reason. This writer is Afro Unu and his job, mission, and assignment from Nupu as a member of the Ethiopian race as well as a member of the human race is to investigate, examine, and analyze persons and things and eat the real science for authenticity, genuineness, and honesty and make recommendations as well as creations. Hence, it is true that this scribe's investigation, examination, and analysis show that religion, the last evolutionary phase of ethereal science, has deceived and failed the Ethiopian race more and more over and over again during the moon cycle and help dump us into slavery physical and mental and spiritual so this writer recommends that the Ethiopian race definitely and indeed abandon the evil spells and curses of religion and embrace your own positive science noon and our own original creative forces known as Nupu and regain our dignity and also respect for ourselves and from others but we members of the Ethiopian race must do this together for it to be most effective the creations of Nupu will new will be new, eat the real science, new names, new language, new laws, new order for persons and things, new way of doing things, and new way of life called true culture. Other ethnic races, human races, can benefit as well because the time for positive change for better is here. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Nature and Nature Book 2, pages 153 to 154. In other words, one of the signs of the creations, the growing of Nupu, is new names. Therefore, what Nupu and Noon are maintaining and promulgating is survival and better existence for all, including spirit beings and human beings, by teaching things and doing things differently. It is fact that it is written that all things will be made new, and Nupu is those who do make all things new. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Nature and Nature Book 2, pages 259 to 260 in part. Revelation 21 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. I, Repu the Sun, am that throne, and it is Nupu that resides in my black body beneath the glow of my sunshine. Remember this well. Revelation chapter 3 verse 12 Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. 
Listen to Repu's The Sun's Ray's Ra's Sound Right Reasoning. Overcometh in this Bible quote is referring to surviving this judgment time from February 5th, 2022 to February 5th, 2025 AD. My Repu's The Sun's Ray's wife Jutar Jupiter Keck who is a justice and judge, she is backed up with my repos the sun's raised Ra's sixth wife Satuna, Saturn, who also is a judge and prosecutor and executor of the justice called karma in your language. Overcometh, 52. Survive karma, 52. Listen to more of repos the sun's sound right reasoning. The my God in this Bible quote is Nupu. My God is 28. Nupu God is 28. Therefore, when one says God, he or she must identify what God is being referred to, such as Almighty God, who is absolute nature in general, Nupu God, the world, soul, and creator during the life cycle of nature, Zupu God, the world soul and created during the death cycle of nature or emanations of these world souls such as the sun god earth god moon god sea god serpent god ghost god or what god the world souls and their main dominions exist at opposite opposite times in the same place infinite nature in other words nupu world soul represents all infinite nature one half of time and zupu world soul represents all infinite nature the other half of time they alternate take turns Existing by laws and cycles of eternal nature. Nature and Nature Book 1, page 10 in part. Listen to Repu's The Sun's Rays Ra's Sound Right Cosmic Reason. Before I Repu begin to explain the meaning of Quipu's old name, I Repu will address my Repu's son Sipu Moon Cult called Sapiens, former known as, formerly known as Nuwapians. Many of you have had so many questions about Kwipu's name, but ignored the questions she and other kids had about your misleader Dwight York and the misappropriation and corruption of Noon Science. We, the Orbs, the Nine Ennead, indeed watched and gave them, the Noonibuls, all the facts to destroy every lie the worshippers of my Ripu's son, son Sipu's sins descending side was given to them by misleaders of the Sabians. Listen to Repu's, the sun's sound right cosmic reason. While your moon cult was so busy stealing and rearranging the nature books, you ignorantly overlooked the curse slash threat in, this very, in its very pages. Listen to reason. Therefore, what members of organized religions are advised to do is reorganize. Noon, as written by Afro Uno, is in the nature of the Ethiopian race because philosopher science, U scientist Uno is Ethiopian by race. Hence, the reorganization of organized religions would go like this. Each organized religion or each ethnic race choose a council of representatives capable of drafting the science moon into the nature of the religion or human race being represented. This positive action will cause a bringing up to date of lagging religions and turn them into noon as in the nature of each organized religion or each human race for the purpose of surviving Armageddon and having better and longer life for members involved. All these positive actions are necessary because this writer and messenger of Nupu nature predicts that all enemies of the Ethiopian race will be destroyed, as well as all enemies of justice and equality. See St. Matthew chapter 24 verse 22 of the Caucasian Bible, King James Version, because the Caucasian Bible is most typical of judgment time than any other religion book. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Nature and Nature book 2 page 254. See, enemies of Ethiopians is 99. Bad karma for Sabian and Wapian, 99. Listen to Repu's sound right cosmic infrared reasoning. The quotes above speaks on religion and its followers have a chance to survive because they did not attack Afro Uno, Jipu, and Sipu, nor did they attack those that followed new science. It was only you Sabians that plagiarized help. Stole, steal Afro Uno's identity and made money from corrupting his works. You also lied on some of the most dedicated followers, followers of Sound Right Reason called Nuku. For those acts of wrongness, Mr. York started corrupting the Bible interpretations and explanations and the nine ball counts from the 1990s called the Right Knowledge series. Those karmic debts have been piling up just as karma until now. Many of you will not survive Armageddon because the protection 
and second chance is extended to religion, not cults such as yours. Noon science was made for the Ethiopian race and those non-Ethiopians that recognize Noon as is. You Sabians have proven to be an open public enemy to Noon science on social media since 2014 AD, Christian Caucasian year. You have attacked Kwipu, Tar Kinu Unu, and Tar Bu Unu as well and also supported a false book written to make them look bad while trying to make the true guilty Dr. York look innocent. The Lightning from the East. This is called scapegoatism in new science and this will also get you punished for continuously breaking the laws of nature. Listen to reason. When someone qualified determines by sound right reason what the law and penalty by nature are for a particular transgression, the degree that the calculator person might defer from the exact law and exact penalty by nature is adjusted by the balancing powers in nature in one way or another but always on the guilty person or his kind during the moon cycle. Scapegoatism, the guilty placing blame on the innocent was common practice and permissible but now that the moon cycle is over, the diabolical practice is not only ineffective now but causes backlash penalties on the person or persons guilty and all the unaccounted for transgressors during the moon cycle must be paid for now and this fact is one of the major causes of Armageddon, the war of justice and balance. Let it be remembered always and well. Nature and Nature Book 2, pages 158 to, 1, to 159. Now that I, Ripu, have addressed this topic personally through Kweepu, now let me, Ripu, properly explain what her names mean letter by letter. Remember this well. Q. This glyph is, a comp is composed by the basket glyph and the quail chick. The basket is called Neb, meaning Lord, every all, Lord of the two lands, Lady of the house, Lord of heaven, the Pharaoh is often shown in reliefs or in cartouche related statements as Lord of the two lands. The basket hieroglyph is used as Lord or King. Queens or goddesses use the Lordess form, the feminine implied from the T hieroglyph but not needed for the basket. The basket is used for either. Let me, Ripu, explain the true meaning of the Q hieroglyph and, the, and these descriptions that describe it. 1. Meaning Lord, every, all. Listen to reason. So that kind of imaginary nonsense about the one supreme being is the kind of ignorance, superstition, and foolishness that Noon, the science of reality, reason, and knowledge, strives to help people eliminate. The nonsense of creating something from nothing is another imaginary fallacy in the minds of many people. Nupu, Noos, via nature science, maintains that matter is all there is, of course, together with space and time. To put it another way, in words, matter is all that matters, in unity with space, time, because matter includes all energies, whether they be negative or positive, mental, mineral, spiritual, electrical, chemical, ethereal, material, physical, or whatever. Matter is without beginning and without ending. Matter is anything and everything that occupies space and it needs time to exist. Matter in unity with space and time is certainly the Almighty as defined and identified in the science of the nature of nature known as Noon. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Nature and Nature Book 1, page 31. Listen to reason. The male principle and power is predominant in a universe because he represents the father vacuum is physically stronger than the female, impregnates the female, offsets and balances the female gender in the universes and represents the male sons, the controllers of the solar system, where all flesh and blood beings and organisms survive and strive. Yet all alpha stars, including the very original alpha star of the universe, who were once the centers of the star producing nebulas of the universe are predominantly female because they are the producers. Those who gestate, develop, and form persons and things by way of the womb or other incubation, as in the cases of mammals and primates and birds. This writer repeats, productive and reproductive matter is basically female. So for all practical purposes, the magic matter of almighty nature is indeed the mother of all persons and things, and magnetic vacuum is the father who embrace, embraces his wife and universe mother forever and eternally in life and in death. Let it be remembered. Nature Nature Book 2, page 41. In new science, matter is all things that is all things mentioned above. Everything in existence is matter and composed of it, making matter the master and ruler everywhere. 
Lady of the House, Lord of Heaven. Listen to Ripu sound right cosmic reason. Matter is called Lady of the House because she is the wife of Father Space, also called Mother. In some cultures, a married woman is called Lady of the House. Lady of the House, a wife who manages a household while her husband earns the family income. Synonyms, homemaker, housewife, woman of the house. Type of married woman, wife, a married woman, a man's partner in marriage. The basket is called Neb, meaning Lord, every all. Listen to Repu, sound right, cosmic reason. Neb also in is in reference to nebulas that grow the universes and galaxies and solar systems by extension. Nebula, a cloud, mist, from Latin nebula, pl plural, nebulae, mist, vapor, fog, smoke, exhalation, figuratively, darkness, obscurity, from pi root, neb, cloud. Rebarred from Latin 1660s in sense of cataracts in the eye, astronomical meaning, luminous cloud like patch in the heavens, is from C1730, as early as Herschel, 1802. Astronomers realized that some nebulae were star clusters, but the certain distinction of re relatively nearby cosmic gas clouds from distant galaxies, as these are now properly called, was not made until the 1920s when the later were resolved into individual stars and nebulae using the new 100-inch Mount Wilson Telescope. From inside out, first, the black ball in the center of the figure, this is what it's representing. On this page is a super supreme brain. Second, the second ball is the alpha nebula produced by the brain. The third, the balls on the perimeter of the nebula are nine ether egg balls. Fourth, the space that holds the small balls or space for orbiting orbiting space. Fifth, the dotted area is chaos, matter being used up. Listen to sound right reason. After conceptions of the universe of all nature come the embryos and early stages of gestations of the universes. The stages of the embryo universes are, are complete when all the nebulas of the universes are formed. Now, continuation of the embryo developments proceed when the round and turning nine ether egg ball, the super supreme brain, concentrates and attracts all necessary matter from the wall of the vacuum black ball, it becomes the alpha nebula of that universe. When this vast colossal nebula settles in and matures while rotating counterclockwise, this huge gigantic nebula grows many nine ether egg ball supreme brains who themselves also become centers of nebulas after the alpha nebula twists and turns and spins them off into chaotic matter surrounding the alpha nebula let it be remembered always and let it be known nature and nature book 3 pages 53 and 81 to 82 the pharaoh is often shown in reliefs or in cartouche related statements as lord of the two lands now we move on to the quill chick G43 that represents the W sound or the U sound. Listen to Ripu's sound right cosmic reason. The quail chick represents more than spirit beings and planets. It also represents the nine ether gases when they exist and the six ether gases when they exist. When the basket glyph is connected to the quail chick, it symbolizes the nebulas in the top half basket and nebulas in the bottom half basket called the smash circle of order and new science let this be known